Mama Shan and Daddy Coco are gonna go look at a new car today. The car that I wanted is sold. I still think it's just too big. Go we'll take this baby for a ride. We're really honestly between a rock and a hard place. I don't know, Clara. Thank you Boron Sleep Calm for sponsoring this part of the video. I can't believe how much I did today. I seriously have no idea how I did it all. Oh, there is so much I have to do tomorrow. I have no idea how Corey is sleeping right now. What should I make for dinner tomorrow? What is the weather tomorrow? Is it gonna rain? I think it's gonna rain. Why is Corey sleeping? I really need to start my holiday shopping. Oh no, did I take the dogs out before we went to bed? What should I make for dinner tomorrow? I need to remember to get Bailey and Lucy's haircuts. Four sheep. I have to make sure I help Who's driving all her stuff this week? Is it me? I think it's me. Corey. Huh? I really need a restful night of sleep. Shanna, just take the boron sleep call. Okay. That'll help you. I'll try that. Okay. Enjoy calm and restful nights with boron sleep calm. These melt away tablets dissolve in your mouth without food or water. They are unflavored and a plant powered way to calm restless sleep and to fall asleep and to stay asleep. Wake up refreshed with no neck stick rockiness. Sleep calm does not contain any artificial sweeteners, flavors, colors, or preservatives. Sleep Calm differs from sleep regulating hormone like melatonin or a prescription sleep medication as it helps rebalance waking and sleeping states to produce healthy, restorative sleep. For more information, click the link down below in the description box. And thanks again, Boron Sleep Calm, for sponsoring this part of the video. What's up, you guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Got Corey here. It's, it's, it's hangout time with Corey and Shanna. Oh boy. And you guys, you know, I want to say something really quick. Someone asked me where we got the name Mama Shan and Daddy Coco. Well, if you guys watch back on the video, it honestly was just the most like spur of the moment name and it just kind of stuck and everyone started calling us that. We thought it was funny. But if you look on the video, when we went out and got Cassie's car when she turned 16, Corey and I were driving and I said, you guys, guess what's happening today? Mama Shan and Daddy Coco. And it just somehow, it just stuck. Yep. So it became like you a... You guys have been calling it, been calling it ever since. Yeah, so funny. So anyway, we're going to head out right now, actually, which is funny. We're actually going to go look at a new car today. Hmm. So Mama Shan and Daddy Coco are going to go look at a new car today. We've um, got a couple specific cars in mind. Well, Corey has his mindset on one that I don't know about because, okay, hear me out. The car I'm looking at has bucket seats on each side and my kids want that. But for me, like preferably i don't know but maybe i'll love the car that he likes so you guys should we just go test drive her car because we know who's gonna make the decision <laughs> in the end anyways right no 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 but there there are two cars that we're looking so should at. we just save some time and go test drive your car well, let's go do both because yeah. i actually i don't hate the car he is talking about i don't i don't know what it looks like inside <laughs> and i don't want like a big suburban like this is perfect we're in a tahoe i love it i don't want anything bigger than this but the one car we're looking at, it's awesome. It just, I don't know. Car. It is getting to the point though where ma if miles. there's maintenance issues and stuff that it's starting to cost more yeah. every year than, and we drive it everywhere. than if we just got a new car. So. And I do love this car. It's been a great car. So we're gonna go look, see what we can find. Bring you guys with us, do party. Here's the first car that Corey, this is the car that Corey wants me to test drive. And guys, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I open this thing up, look, bucket seats. That's what I was just saying. And then it has and the extra row. seat, yeah, back here. See, the thing this is, is way bigger than I thought it was. See, the thing was with the third row with us. Yeah. With our car, there's zero room in the back. Yes, there's zero leg room. And so you only, so, you only have one person sitting in the far back anyways. Because yeah. Because there's no leg room. Well, let's see what this looks like. Um, really quick, put it up for me. Let me see like with the back up. So I'm in the back seat. I had to just give it a test. It's definitely it, It's tighter It's yeah, you're not sitting back there. I know but you still want it comfortable the, for the your real kids. Test is, can I sit back here? <laughs> that is the question I'll be honest. This is already more comfortable than the Tahoe. The Tahoe is. I yeah. can't even get in the back of the Tahoe. Yeah, the Tahoe is like in your feet like this too. The Tahoe, yeah. your legs go up high because it like. But this isn't up. meant for adults back here. It's yeah. the smaller kids back here. This is beautiful. Okay, let's go take it for a ride. All the cool gadgets. It's so simple. I love this. It just looks clean and simple. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go take this baby for a ride. I like the leg room in front. Okay, guys, look. It even has like on the sunroof that goes all the way back. We're taking this on the freeway. We're gonna see how it does. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You always have to test out the power, right? Yeah. Okay, it's already 
It's super smooth. I just passed the BMW. <laughs> and it fits all four of my kids and plenty for carpool. That's, Plus. it's perfect. Look how cool this is. So okay, you. It, it's all in Spanish, so I gotta go through it. So let's see, let's go idiomas. That's language. And then idioma de sistema. And let's go English. US. Isn't that cool? Hey, it's in English now. Look at that. Okay, final thoughts. We just pulled back up into the dealership. I really, 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 really like it. And I didn't think mm. I would. So my ideas aren't so good. No, well, I just didn't think I'd like it. I didn't realize like it was <laughs> it was bucket seats and I didn't realize like how much room it had. For some reason I was thinking it was a lot less roomy. It just sits low. It sits lower. I'm not used to driving a car that it sits It makes so me low. feel like I'm in my parents' car. Well, go test drive the other one though because I still want to go test drive that one. But I'm not, I really think this one's great. It turned out better than I thought, so we'll see. Okay, we're gonna go test drive the other car. Come with us. You guys, I am so sad. The car that I wanted is sold. We just drove by this morning on the way to the gym and we saw it and then we came and the guy just said, oh, it actually just sold today. So you're saying my option's sounding better? Yeah, Corey's option's sounding better, but there is one <laughs> we'll go test drive because there's another one. And he did say, he's like, I can get you another one. You know, you'd like it if yeah, you like I, I it. Yeah, I talked to him. He can so find us another one. We'll see. We're gonna go test drive this other just one though it. and just, just test drive it and see if we like it. This white one's really pretty. So we're gonna look at this one. We'll take this one for a test drive. I do love that it's it's long, like has a ton of space in it. So it really, I this mean. This is the max. Yeah. Yeah, it is the max. That's why it's, got, it's longer in the back. This is like our car now, but this one's an extended Yukon. So it's a little bit longer, but I still think it's just too big. I don't know, but then I might like it. I have no idea, I really do like this one. This one's also extended, I guess. So, I don't know, okay. There's another one that's a max, so it's a little bit longer too. And I don't hate the color, the color's pretty. It's kind of like a silver cream color. It kind of has like both, like I don't know how to explain it. It's just, don't you think it kind of looks like silver and cream? Yeah, it's kind of a glossy gray. Yeah, it's a pretty color. So we are gonna drive the gray one. I guess he said that they wrapped this. Oh, that's cool. Look, it comes out. Okay, so he said they wrapped this one. The gray is wrapped. In their which is so, so cool. It's not made by the manufacturer gray like this, so they've done this themselves. No so wonder much. I liked the color, because it looks kind so of really like. So you can't find it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this is gonna be one of Okay, one of Corey, the kind this colors. is pretty dang awesome. Look at that, it's so much, so much space. I'm in the very back. <laughs> So much leg room back here. So much leg room here. And this has three seats in the back versus two, like the other car. And the trunk space has got lots of trunk space. That's good too. This one is a possibility. I'm back to it. But this is a different one. This isn't the one I wanted. However, I do like this color of the car too though. So I don't know. Look at all the the dash here. Does my phone charge on this one? If my phone charges, look, it charges. We're buying this one. <gasps> okay, that's We're it. We're getting this one because it charges my phone. <laughs> charges your phone. <laughs> We're gonna hop on the freeway and take this one for a little ride. I will say one thing. I just told Corey, I said I'm honestly torn between the two cars. There's good things to both cars, but bad things too. So I actually feel like this car is pretty dang smooth as far as it goes. Like getting on the freeway feels about the same as the Volvo. Considering how big it is, I'm surprised. The only thing I don't love about this is the gas. The pricing, the, the gas price for the, how much it will cost versus the other car. The seats are so comfortable. I'm sinking into it. Like I could take a nap in here. It's like so comfortable. And I do love all the trunk space, the leg room space, the extra seat, just cause it is kind of nice to have that extra seat. If like, just in case we do decide to bring someone with us, otherwise Kessie will have to drive if we go somewhere and we bring a friend or friends. So there's pros and cons to both cars like they're not bad like it's just those are the things i'm thinking about this cars. rides a lot smoother i know that's remember, what i was thinking remember the one we test drove before yeah these wheels ride a lot smoother than the other one it's still a, it's not as smooth as mobile obviously. right 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 because this has the big tires on it yeah but i'm surprised that's what i'm saying so, i'm surprised how how smooth it is but yeah so anyway we're really honestly in a between a rock and a hard place because we don't know how much longer our car is going to gonna keep going because we've had problem after problem we're going up on 200,000 miles now and 
I don't know, Clara. What are we gonna do? It's either this one or the other. Well, we're definitely. I'm. I cannot decide today. I really can't. Let's see how it rides at 80 miles an hour. Oh, okay. our car starts shaking around 80 miles an hour, like we're going like this the whole way. That's 85 right there. Okay. Not, not too not, shabby. Not, nothing changed. No, it's su super smooth. Are you I torn like between the two as well? I, well? I, to be honest, if the price of this wasn't so high, I would buy this one. Okay. Well then, do bigger, do we wait? Do we? I mean, I don't know if we can wait. That's the problem. The prices of cars are not going to be going down anytime soon. That's what he's saying. He in, doesn't in believe fact, prices of the in, cars will go down. In fact, the stock, their demand is already out to 2024, which means these prices are going to be here for a few more years at least. Yeah. And then there's nothing being done to fix the demand of cars right now. Yeah. You know, because because of how high prices are and everything, everything is is inflated. behind if it's the metal that makes the car right you know it's everything's right behind a bit so. so i guess we'll just have to wait i don't see. see the prices dropping anytime soon the prices aren't going away anytime soon that's the only thing i think that's the biggest thing stopping us is just how high, you know, how high they are we two, guys we have pulled three, this off for so long two years ago this car was twenty thousand dollars less than mm -hmm. it is now so much more money than that's it. what's frustrating yeah it is. exact same car yep Twenty thousand dollars. Got the sunroof in here too, you guys. Look at this. It goes way back. On a scale of one to ten, I would say the first car we drove, I would say eight, eight and a half. Driving this one, I would say nine and a half. Like almost ten. This car honestly just has everything that we want in it. My hard part is justifying the price. Right. Right. Just because you know, yeah makes sense. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go back you, to the you, dealership. You, you drive off the lot and you lose so much value. True, out of true, true story. We're gonna go back to the dealer and then see what we can figure out, maybe talk to the guy again and see if there's anything, find out how much we'll get for our car, and then we'll go from there. We both agreed that we love the car we just drove. We might be back, so you guys will have to stay tuned to see if we buy it. I'm excited. You guys stay tuned and see what we decide to do. I know, I, I don't even know what we're gonna do yet. I don't so know either. This is all like a little cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video. There yes. could be a big there surprise. There could be a new car. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye guys.